All right, I just did a video on five key parameters you should have in your Power BI report. And then I got hit up with suggestions on two more critical parameters. So here, we're gonna complete out with the seven, seven parameters that you should have in your Power BI reports. All right, so do the whole YouTube thing. Like, subscribe, leave comments. If you want early access, become a member for five bucks. Uh, and if you have ideas on what you want in videos, let me know clearly as case in point, I create content based upon your feedback. So if you want something done, leave comments down below, hit me up on, on Twitter, on LinkedIn, or now I'm on TikTok. So I'm on TikTok with all the crazy people there. So uh, come on over and, and hit me up there as well. Okay. So, but let's hit on the, the other two parameters. So let's quick cover the first ones that we did. We did server and database, right? So this is your, this is your connection string to the database that you're going to have. This is your database that you're doing. Okay. So that's your common connection pattern. Next thing we're going to talk about is range start and end. This allows for incremental ref refreshes. Then we have our API. This is where like your Excel files sit. You know, this is your string that you use for that API file that you're going to get into. But now we're going to actually come round this out and we're going to hone in on the next two that are super important. Um, honestly, I really like this one. So first one is schema. All right. So schema. Uh, is what schema or catalog does the data exist in that you're going to be pulling this out of? So it very, very common inside of your databases, you organize your data by uh, the schema that they're in. DBO or database object is the, the most common schema that's out there, but I've also seen tons and tons of schemas for like bronze, silver, gold, or raw land business or process or model, right? Like there's all sorts of different schemas you might have, uh, you know, that you want to control access to. Uh, heck, I've even seen uh, like dev UAT prod schemas, if you're just using one database for everything, right? Um, this allows you to test these things out, switch your schemas through code and, and actually do more when it comes to like like controlling what schema you have access to. All right, so this is a great addition into the parameters that you need to have. And then the last one, and this is a big one, we're actually gonna combine this with a video that's dedicated to it, but that's the filter rows parameter. And so the filter rows parameter, what you can do is you can integrate this in with your Power Query to actually, for any table that's like super large, you can actually put a filter context on that table uh, so that, you know, if it's zero, okay, give me the whole table. But if I'm using this parameter, I'm going to change the parameter to maybe I just want the first million records or whatever it is. I can, inside of my parameters, inside of like my Power BI file, I could go in while I'm working in it, I could set to like 100,000, do my loads, do all my stuff. And then when I go, when it's time to deploy it, I could save it as a zero, uh, then save it, you know, deploy it out and then refresh it. And then when that zero parameter is in place, it won't limit the rows that are in the service. So that's a fantastic uh, presentation. I'm gonna uh, do a video on that in, in a bit. I'll show you how that functions and works in more detail. But this is a great addition to the parameters that you could be using inside of your reports. So hope you found that useful. All right, shorter one for you today, but. Hopefully that is something that you're going to find useful and helpful. Uh, do check it out. Watch If you didn't watch the first five, like five and that look, look quick rundown wasn't enough for you, go check out that video. If you have other ideas for content, let me know. I generally make videos uh, several days a week, so I'm happy to like fit in things that people have questions in on. So, uh, so let me know. Make sure if you're still watching, you like, subscribe. Uh, you know, like I said about becoming a member, that's really great. Uh, if you're um, uh, if you're still watching, let me know if you're watching Amazon's Reacher. Me and my wife are literally just finishing up the season tonight. We're getting a little Olive Garden. Uh, we're gonna kick back and enjoy that. So uh, let me know if you're watching Reacher. I uh, would love to hear and connect with you guys. It's kind of fun. That guy is uh, I don't remember that actor's name, but he is big. Him as Batman would be wonderful. I would love to see that. 
you guys you guys had the best day ever peace all right and as always if you need help i'm here for you head over to bakertilly.com slash digital click on you need help like there's like you need, give us some information say you need some help from chris wagner i'd really appreciate it i guarantee you someone will reach out we'll get you hooked up we'll get some consultants together and we'll we'll, we'll help you all right but if you think you could do this and i have faith in you check out these two videos uh, maybe they'll help you through whatever problem you're having all right <laughs>